The main goal of the biomedical research camp is to encourage students to attend college and we want to expose students to STEM very early on to make them aware of the different options. We added something new this year. We're excited about adding males to the camp because initially it was founded as the Biomedical Research Girls Camp. So this year we've developed programming that would include males and females and we're excited to see how science will resonate with males. I basically expected when you hear biomedical research, you think it's like, oh, you're gonna be working with cancer cells, and oh, you're gonna be doing surgery on frogs and dogs and all that. I was really kind of scared to see what was gonna happen. Once I got here, a whole thing changed. Like, they were actually telling me what science actually means, how biomedical research actually works, you know, how the heart works, how your brain responds to your heart, how the heart pumps blood and all that. The way they explain it, they made it easier than what it actually was. They engaged in the science and how much they already knew about cardiology. They were just very smart children. They are very smart children, and so they just kind of hit the ground running. We had an opportunity to collaborate with several different departments across the University of Arkansas, as well as the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences. Various faculty members told their personal story to success, and it was a really great experience for our students. We had the opportunity to collaborate with the Department of Biomedical Engineering. They work with Dr. Hannah Jensen. They learned about the anatomy and learn how to dissect the heart. I really, truly love dealing with kids and I love seeing not only their faces when they realize they know something, but also exploring new things. Like we were sitting there in that biomedical camp and they have these big hearts in front of them and I'm expecting them to all freak out. And then they were asking them questions and the kids remembered stuff that I thought would completely get lost. I learned that, that um, LDL is a bad type of cholesterol and HDL is a good type of cholesterol. And you should want 100 or down DL instead of a hundred and over. Students visit the School of Art where they work with graphic designer Dr. Allie Place to design an original campaign targeting preteens to engage in physical activity to improve their heart health. Students visited exercise scientist Dr. Tyrone Washington in his laboratory and they did various activities in order to understand the impact of physical health on the human heart. Students had the opportunity to actually visit a boxing gym and learn and train with Hot Sauce, the undefeated boxing champion. He taught us how to punch properly, how to protect ourselves, how to measure our heart rate in doing so, and how to breathe properly. We also work with physical therapist, Dr. Jerrica, and she showed us how to be conscious of our heart health while we engage in physical activity. Students learned about funding opportunities for their college education. We also heard from Mr. Adrian Smith. Mr. Smith shared his rise from Rosin, Arkansas to director at the Multi cultural center. We also heard from Miss Ori, an undergrad student at the University of Arkansas, and she is from Dumas, Arkansas. It was really great for students to see a product of their hometown and encouraging them that they can survive at the University of Arkansas at Fayetteville. It's important that you give back to your community and you uplift others. The school in Dumas was shut down, so they need that type of exposure to come out. It's like, well, I can be a doctor, I can be a researcher, I can be a scientist. Here is a great opportunity because the research on this campus is phenomenal and they have the opportunity to come and do research here. So I think it's a great exposure because of yeah. We're very conscious of how precious a child is to parents and we take every effort to make sure that the child is well taken care of. Dr. Bailey is a great advisor and the volunteers, they're great people, they do rigorous background checks, they know what they're doing, so I think it's great that you would uh, send your child to the biomedical camp. I don't think you really have anything to lose. They all loved something about this. And yeah, it's a long week and I know it's hard leaving your babies, but this is something that they, they won't ever regret doing. We want our youth 
to be aware and engage at a very early age in activities and education at the University of Arkansas, no matter which corner of the state you reside in. She's giving these kids the optimism to they can do whatever they want. This is a seed that's planted that will keep growing. The gift of education, it never goes away, it's passed on from generation to generation. And the education that I received, I'm giving it to the next generation. And these students will go back and share that with the community.